of all, I explained why network marketing. We all get that. This is the time. Why travel? It's very obvious. Now, why world ventures? And first, what I want to do is I want to talk about pricing. And if you're in business today, this dynamic, more than any other, is absolutely critical that you understand. And it's what we talked about earlier. It's that new mindset of the consumer. Businesses today have to understand how the consumers think, how they behave, and how they make purchase decisions. If you do not get this, this new consumer, you cannot survive. I hear some people ask, with the economy today, isn't this a bad time to be selling leisure travel? Well, that's really the wrong question to ask. The question you need to be asking is, how is your company's product positioned from a pricing standpoint relative to other companies that sell similar products? I mean, that more than ever, how are they positioned? Okay, there's a magazine cover that I want to show you, and, and this is so key in, in the, uh, the business world today. Business Week. The hard sell. On the bag in the smaller print, it says, how retailers are fighting for the hearts and mind of the new consumer. We, as consumers, were spoiled. What do I mean by that? Well, for the past 25 plus years, most of us, for the most part, especially relative to other parts of the world, have lived pretty good lives. We've had some nice stuff, okay? And we want to continue to have nice stuff. And we're going to continue to buy nice stuff. But what's more important today than ever to us is that nice stuff is at a good price. Okay, we are more price sensitive than ever. A great example of this is Nordstrom. Nordstrom, the department store uh, that you're all familiar with, high-end department store, they have uh, almost uh, stopped the opening of their department stores, Nordstrom's. Now, Nordstrom Rack, which is like a Nordstrom's, same clothes, but 30 to 70 percent less, their discount store, They've tripled the openings of Nordstrom since the recession. Tripled. They're opening 13 Nordstrom racks just this year alone. Starwood Hotels. Starwood Hotels, they uh, have the W Hotels, uh, the West End, the Sheraton, these high-end luxury brand hotel chains. Same thing is happening there. They're not opening many of those right now. But they launched a new hotel chain under Starwood, called Aloft. And Aloft is kind of like the W Hotel, but it's more affordable. doesn't have all the luxuries, like there's, you don't have the, um, uh, the valet or the room service, okay, but it's nice. It's luxurious, all right? It's about $130 to $170 per night is the price of the Aloft hotels. That's their average room rate. Well, they're opening two uh, of these Aloft hotels every single month. Two. Every month, that's faster than any hotel chain has ever opened hotels. All right, so consumers want nice things. They're just looking for a really good price. Leisure travel, what we're finding in leisure travel and what all the studies are telling us recently, for the most part, most of us are still taking the same vacations and the same number of vacations that we took in the past, for the most part. The biggest difference, though, is that we're looking for a really good price. And here's a great example that I like to talk about. On the cover of the money section of USA Today, the headline of the cover, some companies say there's a recession. And what this article is talking about is it highlights four different companies that are actually doing better because of the recession. One of the companies they talk about is Walmart. Walmart's doing really well. Okay. Uh, companies are ha uh, some companies are having to totally retool their business and, and rethink their entire business model because of understanding the pricing of consumers. Some were already positioned great, like Walmart, like McDonald's. Well, the number one company they're talking about in this article, the, high, the main highlighted company, is a leisure travel vacation company. 
That's the company. You see the guy there on the cover? That's the guy that's standing. The owner of the company is standing tall. It's a leisure travel vacation company. So are vacation companies doing well? It all depends on how you're positioned in the marketplace from a pricing standpoint. People are still traveling. They just want to find a better deal. This company offers better pricing than most options online. Not as good as World Ventures, okay, but it is, is better. And um, USA Today is calling this company the king of the recession. Now, let me explain why some companies are losing market share while other companies are at the same time are gaining market share during this economic times. Some of them are losing market share, some of them are gaining market share. Now before I do that, first what I do want to say is that a significant part of the business that World Ventures that we do every, uh, every day and that we've done since the beginning is where we are uh, selling to consumers that have either never taken a vacation before or have vacationed very little, now they're a consumer with us, and they're vacationing frequently. Okay, we got a lot of that. That's a big part of our business. And this is what Wayne is talking about when he's talking about incremental sales. What's exciting about this is that we're not talking about just taking a, a, our piece of the existing pie. We're talking about expanding the pie, where, where you are going out there and introducing this concept to new people, and you're creating new demand that wasn't even there for new vacationers, and we're making the pie even larger, okay? So this is, this is really exciting. So, but gaining market share, right? What I'm going to talk about on gaining market share, where uh, some companies are losing market share and others are gaining market share, this is where, and this is becoming more and more of a significant piece of the business that we're doing today, especially right now, where customers from other companies were customers of those companies, but they're now coming to World Ventures for their travel. Okay, this is what we're talking about when we say gain market share. And this is really exciting. We talk about it a lot. Gain market share. It's a very unique opportunity that we have. Now, the example that I was talking about earlier, Starbucks is Again, this year, Starbucks, brewing problem for Starbucks, price-conscious coffee drinkers, okay, Boston, Boston Globe. Okay, so Starbucks, we know how successful it's been. The economy is not working in the favor of Starbucks' business model. Yes, people still want those premium, specialty, great-tasting coffees. We've gotten spoiled to those. But now what we're doing is we're looking for lower-cost alternatives, Okay, so we've got companies like Dunkin' Donuts. How's the coffee at Dunkin' Donuts? Circle K, 7-Eleven, McDonald's. These are all lower cost places where you can now buy premium specialty coffee drinks. So this is a visual of what's happening to Starbucks right now. We talked about nutrition companies. We talked about network marketing is counter-cyclical. <clears throat> There's more to the story. There's two sides that affect uh, the demand for a network marketing company. You've got the demand for the business. You've got the demand for the products. If your pro products aren't priced right relative to competitors, if the recession, if there's a recession, that actually works against you as a network marketing company if your products aren't priced right. Yeah, the demand for your business may be up, but the demand for your products goes down. Okay, so in a, in a recession, is somebody going to spend $40 for a bottle of juice when they could get a, 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 that same ingredient, maybe not the exact same thing, okay, but it's the same ingredient, same size bottle at Costco for $18? During a recession, are they, who are they going to buy it from? Okay, you can answer that for yourself, but here, here's a visual of what's happening to nutrition network marketing companies right now. Because they can go to Sam's, they can go to Costco, they can go to GNC, they can go to Vitamin World, mail order companies, other internet companies. There's so many places that you can buy lower cost nutrition products. Okay, so that's most network marketing companies because most network marketing companies they don't have a pricing model like we do let's face it ours is more like 
uh, Sam's Club or Costco, where we provide the best prices. Nobody offers leisure travel as good of a price as we do. So what does that mean when it comes to World Ventures relative to other companies? Okay, so that's, that's what we call gaining market share, right? Does that feel good? Guess what? It doesn't stop there. Let, I, I want to talk a little bit about, because, you know, I've talked about nutrition companies. Again, the reason why I talk about nutrition companies is because they're the biggest segment of network marketing companies. I'm a believer in nutrition, okay? There's a lot of great nutrition network marketing companies. I'm not mocking nutrition network marketing companies. I'm sure they have great reasons on why they sell their products at the prices that they do, okay? All I'm saying is how we have a competitive advantage over those companies, especially right now, okay, because of the way that our pricing model is. Most nutrition network marketing companies, if you don't know this, they have auto draft requirements in order for you to stay qualified for your commissions that typically run anywhere from like $100 to $300 every single month. Okay, $100 to $300. World Ventures, you can have both products, and the most you're going to pay is $50 a month. Now here's the best part. Get four, pay no more. What we've done is we've taken one of our unique competitive advantages and we've made it that much stronger. Other companies can't afford to do that. They just, they can't and they won't, okay? We know how perfectly timed that message is in the marketplace right now. Get for, pay no more. So let's talk about what's happening with us relative to other network marketing companies. These are just uh, a handful of some of the bigger names that you might be familiar with. Here's what's happening and what's going to continue to happen in a very big way. So this is a, an exciting time <clears throat> for all of us. So we, we said, why World Ventures? First, we talked about pricing. Now, let's talk about our compensation. And uh, I'm not going to go into a lot on this, but what I will tell you is most network marketing companies that are out there are paying out about 35 to 40% on the revenue that they bring in, about 35 to 40% they pay out in commissions to the field. World Ventures, we pay out 60 to 65%, more than any other company that we know of. Okay. The most important aspect of World Ventures and why World Ventures, though, is the people. And I always encourage people that are looking at the, uh, the company to, to spend some time and to read the resume of the people that are behind the company. I mean, we got an incredible team. we got an incredible executive team. we got incredible staff at our, at our company, a group that you can be extremely proud of. And if someone was, uh, and we've, had a, we've enjoyed a lot of success up to this point right now. I mean, from the inception of this company... We're very quickly approaching $200 million in sales, and that's huge for a company as young as we are. And if you were to ask me, what is it the, 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 the biggest factor of the success that we've experienced? In the past, I definitely would have said, it's our business model. 
I mean, let me share with you our concept and our idea, this vision that, World, uh, that Wayne Nugent had and that has become a reality, okay? Th- this is what sets us apart from every other company. And th- this is true. There's a huge difference in what we're doing versus other companies. That is a big reason. But I am absolutely convinced that's not the biggest reason. The biggest reason I believe the magic that's happening with World Ventures, why this company is now becoming such a force to compete with, is because of the people, but not their resumes or their backgrounds, their bios, their success stories, or any of that stuff. It's because of the people, both the staff at our home office and those in the field, our field leadership and all the reps that continue to, to come into our company. It's the makeup of the individuals. And when people come to these events and they get a chance to hang out with you, they all experience it. They all talk about it. There's something here that's very special about the people of World Ventures. It, the, the, the people, uh, a very common characteristic of the people of, of, of our company is they're people that are very passionate. Uh, they have big goals, big desires. They're very excited about being a part of something that's going to be absolutely huge and make a major impact in the world. And one thing that's also very common of these people is it's not only that they're driven to succeed and be part of something big, but they also have within their heart this sincere desire to make a positive impact in other people's lives. Contribution is a big underlying theme. And you hear like attracts like. Okay, and we are magnetizing these types of people into our company. We are. We are co-creating world ventures. This is something very, very special. And I am uh, extremely excited about where we are now and how we got here, but let me tell you something. I am most excited about where we're going, okay? And I, I am just so excited about World Ventures, what we're doing, the purpose of World Ventures, the mission, where we're going. My excitement, my enthusiasm, my belief, my certainty, okay? Right now, as a team, the people, the team that are making this company World Ventures, and we're co-creating this company, the uh, executive team, the staff, the field leadership, we are, as a team, we're more aligned. There's more partnership. There's more unity. There's more synergy right now than there ever has before. I've never been a part of a team that is, is, that it, that where I felt it to that degree. Okay, right now. Right now, World Ventures, as a company, we are more efficient, more effective. We are better, stronger, faster. We are more financially solid, more legally sound today than we have ever been. Thank you. I am absolutely convinced. I've never been more certain of of anything in my life. World Ventures will become a company that grows and develops a brand that is recognized and respected as Apple in Nike. Thank you guys.